Hey crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful dressed up gift box using Spellbinders Media Mixage, Metal Blanks, and some of their fabulous dies. Let's get started! First let's attach a mini wire hanger to one of the solid dress blanks. Use a pair of round nose beading pliers to curve the tabs at the shoulders all the way around to the back. To make the hanger, insert a straight piece of wire through the tabs and bend both ends up and around the pliers, cross them over and bend one end straight up and wrap the other end around the neck. Snip off any excess and use the pliers to curve a loop to finish off each end. At the bottom of the dress, I used a heavy duty hole punch to punch out three small holes. To give the blank a more aged look, start with a generous amount of metal patina paint. Spread it across the surface and then dab at it with a brush to randomly remove the excess so some of the metal shows through. Let it dry and then heat set it. Be sure to let go of that metal, it gets hot! Use some metal glue with your rhinestones and button embellishments to make sure they stay put. You know why? Cause it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling. Do I, do I? <laughs> Add some beads and charms to eye pins and use your round nose pliers to make a loop on the straight end of each eye pin. Close it around a jump ring and insert the jump ring through one of the holes in the dress. Then you're going to thread some sheer ribbon through a large needle and run that through each hole and then tie the ribbon with an overhand knot and trim off the ends. Now let's paint the box inside and out. To get a super shiny gold, I blended one part gold acrylic paint with about three parts of iridescent medium. Give it just one coat and let it dry. And then to get extra texture and sparkle, dab a sea sponge lightly into plain gold paint and tap it randomly all over the surface. I used two colors for the bottom of the box. I started with navy blue, blended with the iridescent medium underneath, and then the gold sponge painting is on top. To frame the dress, I'm using these beautiful Spellbinders Nestabilities label dies. One set has lacy, debossed edges, and the other set is designed to nest right inside it. Position the die diagonally on the base plate and put a sheet of cardstock underneath as a shim. Adding a sheet of parchment paper between the die and your paper will help it release better when it's cut. I'm using a medium weight one-sided metallic paper and I want the debossed pattern on the gold side, so I'm flipping the paper over so the gold is against the die. Add the cutting plate on top and run the whole sandwich through the grand caliper die cutting machine. And now we have a gorgeous exterior gold frame. For the interior frame, I'm using a bronze glitter cardstock that I pre-trimmed the size I want. Keep the shim on the base to get a nice clean cut through this chunky glittered surface, but you don't need parchment paper for this die. Add the cutting plate and run it through the machine. It'll pop right off the die beautifully and we will use both these pieces to layer into the frame. The first layer is navy blue cardstock to match the paint. Use a gold marker to finish the edges. Then use a paintbrush to apply a nice thin coat of craft glue to the back of each layer, making sure to get the glue all the way to the edges. Put the lid on the bottom of the box to give it more stability so it doesn't cave in every time you firmly press each layer into place. Use a skewer to add a little more glue as needed to reinforce some of these little lacy edges against that glitter cardstock. So now that we have such a pretty frame on top of the box, we need a matching little label on the inside of the lid too. Die cut a larger blue label and a smaller gold label and nest them together and then use the matching media mixage die for the dress plank to die cut another piece of glitter paper into a cute little dress to put on top. And then we're just going to glue it right inside the lid. It's so pretty! Now use dimensional glue dots to adhere the dress to the center of your frame and use smaller glue dots to hold the charms and ribbons in place. Who cares what's inside when the box is this beautiful? So I hope you'll go out and get dressed up with spellbinders too. I'm Lisa Fulmer and you know I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>